2008, an amateur mathematician escaped from the painful collapse of a 30-year marriage by totally immersing himself in a set of theoretical equations. These equations gave an alternative view of the universe, an alternative view of physical reality which had to meet the standards of mathematics, had to accurately compute, and to fit certain known facts. This alternative view of the universe, supplanted the special theory of relativity, and ultimately led to a new form of nuclear energy. Professor Lawrence Dawson was that mathematician. In my early consideration of an alternative space-time structure, I proposed that a variance in time across space was theoretically possible if time had acquired a potential energy component. For a potential energy to exist in time, that time must be reserved, retained or stored. For the energy in time to be reserved, there must be two separate time values existing simultaneously. A single point in time would need to be forcibly separated to become two points in time. Time would, of necessity, invent space in order for the two incompatible time values to coexist. A point in time forcibly separated into two points by an amount of reserved time fits a definition of a geometric quantum. A quantum is defined as two points separated by a non-divisible distance. Secondly, the forcible expansion of space by potential time energy made that energy coherent with the classic definition of energy as force expressed over distance. Space would be defined by a minimum distance which for lack of originality it called the alpha space. All of space would be quantum in nature, that is composed of these small indivisible alpha space units. If this were true, then the smallest things in the universe must fit within these alpha spaces. The smallest empirically confirmed measurable things in the universe are the diameter of the proton and the shortest wavelength. It was found that these two smallest things had been measured at the same order of magnitude, at 10 to the minus 15 meters. There is a single unit of distance, shown to be the alpha space, which defines the smallest things. This alternative space, time structure established the existence of an unrecognized quantum dimension. This quantum dimension provided an alternative explanation for the speed of light restriction. It resolved the disarray in mathematics which the theory of relativity had brought. Under relativity, time is no longer a consistent measure, and the most important formula in the field of physics, that of force, becomes unreliable. The relativity equations had been accepted by a social consensus, and not by mathematical examination. The uncritical acceptance of relativity introduced a non-rational science. It was the beginning of a corruption by which theory would be accepted by a social process, rather than validated through testable hypotheses. While special relativity has been accepted by scientific consensus, the alternative quantum dimension is being increasingly confirmed by misunderstood discoveries of the past as well as new experimental data. Yet none of this can be reported in the scientific journals, because of a prior scientific consensus. The supremacy of social consensus over experimentation reached its apex in 1995 when the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was granted an environmental hypothesis which had been completely discredited in scientific labs. Collectivist beliefs began to trump authentic science. The 1995 Nobel Prize was awarded the hypothesis of F.S. Rowland who proposed that dimers of chlorine monoxide naturally degrade in the atmosphere to destroy ozone. The Rowland chemical equations were used to further the banning of aerosols and refrigerants. However, the breakdown of chlorine monoxide could not be demonstrated to actually occur. Roland was given the Nobel, despite the fact that his hypothesis had been disproved prior to the award. This fact is documented in the book by Professor Dawson which is titled, The Death of Reality. With the Roland Nobel Prize, consensus science arrived at a new stage. The consensus now had the capacity to suppress contradictory experimental evidence. The contradictory data was never reported in the standard scientific journals. The failure of the Rowland hypothesis to meet all scientific tests had to be reported in an underground scientific journal produced by an environmental scientist who had been banned for anti-consensus research. All of this is documented in the book, The Death of Reality.
consensus science had undergone a sinister transformation. The consensus would now be immunized from the scientific method, and any contradictory data it might produce. Corrective discoveries such as those provided by the quantum dimension will no longer be tolerated. Lab experiments which provide a more refined view of atomic process will not be reported. Science has become an anti-Renaissance. This is documented in the book, The Death of Reality. Professor Dawson conducted experiments using the quantum dimensional atomic model. These proved that an electron orbit establishes a type of electrical field which stores energy, and that this stored energy comes from the nucleus of the atom. The experiments proved that a form of radioactivity can be controlled by an artificially produced electrical field of this type. The radioactive energy is directly absorbed into the circuit of the artificial electrical field. These experiments show the possibility of a cleaner, safer form of nuclear energy. There are no dangerous emissions, no radioactive waste products and the device can be easily shut down. Part 2 of this documentary will review these experiments and demonstrate how they point the way towards this safer, cleaner form of nuclear energy.